The top 20 craziest plays this NFL season. Big shout out to Field Flicks for the video we're about to react to. I actually didn't even watch the NFL this season, so this is going to be interesting for me. Let's go. These Whoa! Oh, my God. Damn! The NFL this oh, season. my God! Okay. Big kick. Wait, why is that a crazy play? Oh, wow. Oh, wow! Oh, my God. <laughs> this is about to be a crazy video. Okay. Wow, bro. That's crazy. Okay. Oh! Okay. That's the Marcus Lawrence? No. Damn, good block. Oh, my gosh. Good block. Oh, wait, no. That's against my hell. No. No, 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 no. I literally watched that in real life. That was the first game of the season when we lost to the Cowboys 40 to 0, bro. No. Okay. That hurt my heart, bro. No. Do not ever show the New York Giants getting scored on again. I do not like the sight of that field flicks. I'm a Giants fan, bro. You're tweaking out. Word two. Bugging out, man. Gosh, bro. But that play only happened because it started with a kick. Number 18's what the freak play. is this, bro? They playing trip. duck, duck, you goose, ring like around the rosy. Always whipping out a play they're most famous for, oh. called the tush push. Which okay. Is simple, really. It's just a quarterback sneak. Yeah, yeah. They're players hitting them from the back. Hey, Ooh, hey, the play yo. was already unstoppable. <laughs> Whenever they needed a few yards, they yep. were close to scoring touchdown. Okay. But during a game when they only needed one yard, when every single person watching the game thought they were calling that play again, okay, they tricked everybody. What did they do? Uh, sneak it here on third down. Oh wow. Oh wow! Oh wow! Okay, my boy did a fake. You know what I'm saying? And then talked to the running back. <laughs> now, at least that play was planned. At number that was seven, fire. I like that play. Player's craziest play happened on accident. What? I like, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing on this play. Like, this is not. I'm not supposed to be in. And it wasn't even Wait, just him though. What? Nobody really knew what was going on. So because their coach called the wrong passing play. So why so not call a timeout? The changed the play to a simple run, just so the play didn't completely backfire. Okay. That's when something happened that nobody was expecting. What happened? If you're starting to. Anything could happen. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> Hey, hey, that's what I like to see. Listen, bro. Hey, when, when all else fails, just play football, bro, at the end of the day. That juke was so nasty, it really made three dudes run into each other. Yes, sir. That play turned into the Lions' longest rushing touchdown in over a decade. Wow. Another coach admitted Since 2011. Because of a mistake. Believe it or not, coaches mess something up every once in a while. Players mess something okay, up. Okay, buddy. And, uh, it's a sign of a good team. Well, okay, but I don't think you should be saying that because if you make another mistake, they might think that you did it on accident again and then fire you, my boy. See, that's the thing, bro. It's all about manipulate, bro. You should have just acted like you knew what you was doing, bro. What are you talking about, bro? I guess he's lucky it all worked out and that messing up didn't cost him or his team anything. Unlike the crazy play at number 16, that led to someone losing their job. What? Unfortunately, I won't be there this weekend. Oh, my God. I was just fired. Oh my God! As you can see, it was already a blow. Forty-nine to seven. Can't get much worse what than the? That. That's Sam crazy. Was the worst interception I've ever seen. And that play, combined with the Raiders beating them by the most points oh. they've lost by in franchise history, oh my was gosh. so embarrassing that the Chargers coach literally got fired. What? I'm sorry, you're fired. Get out of here. But Wait, Donald Trump fired him? Why does Donald Trump? Oh, uh, what the heck? Wait, how does he still have that much power if he's not the president anymore? That's crazy. But yo, so wait, wait. One bad game and you get fired, bro. I'm telling you, the NFL is a Gritty business, bro. You can't make any mistakes. Honestly, that's something that could have seen happening. But I never, ever thought I'd see a crazy play like at number 15. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What a toe tap. Craziest catches all year. Wow. It's crazy. That play only tied things up. At number 14, a player's craziest play. One why after the game, his entire team got him wet, and we're acting like fools. Hey, yo. His entire team got him wet. What you mean by that, bro? Yo, Phil Flicks, I ain't gonna lie. You be saying some sus stuff, bro. They were only lit because they won. Not every crazy play this season was My twin. Game. Bro, be honest. Do we look alike? Everybody keeps saying that, bro. And I don't understand it, bro. Take a look at this. This is me and him together a couple weeks ago at the Super Bowl. Do we even actually look alike? I don't I don't know, bro. I don't really too much see it, bro. I mean, kind of. I don't know, bro. But my DoorDash just got here. Let me go get my food from the front door. Be right back. At number 13, Justin Jefferson's worst play led to another team's craziest. What? And I'm going to show you that. Wait. Plus a whole lot of other crazy plays from this season. Okay. But before I do. Nope. I just have no nope. I already knew a sponsorship was coming up hot you can't fool me I'm a youtuber been doing this for about four or five years I know when a, when a thing is coming up listen bro I support you but if they're not paying me my boy I ain't gonna lie, I can't talk about it led to another team's craziest now at first this was only seeming like something good okay Woo! oh my gosh good catch Jay Jettis wait that's not a touchdown 
until it was reviewed Wait. the replay showed that Jefferson fumbled into the end zone for a touchback that's even what he was close to scoring it instantly gave his opponents the that's ball that's not a touchdown and with enough time to make a few plays it eventually lined things up for the longest field goal of the season oh wow so far so far wait there were that's not even that long though bro justin tucker had 67 bro wow <laughs> yeah bro destroying or adam botkin could have did that bro i ain't gonna lie 61 yards that's easy even jefferson's face proved he knew it was all his fault but that wasn't even the craziest kick of the season which you ain't ready for yet we'll get to that in a bit First, okay i gotta show you number 12 what jerseys are those impossible. oh my god those are oh my gosh what jerseys are those oh my oh he caught it between his legs and his nutsack he caught it with his nut sack. Oh my gosh, bro. Okay. That play was damn near a glitch. How wow. How he intercepted Bro, good that? catch. What else besides a video game type of catch? Can you expect from a man whose initials are PS2? Yeah. He a PS2 controller chain. That's true. Speaking of virtual games, though. <laughs> Number 11, Light the reacts. player's craziest play came when he tried changing Madden forever. Wait, what the hell? This is Lil Jordan Humphrey. Yeah, okay. That's his actual name. He ain't a rapper. He's a young NFL player who was a little disappointed in his career so far. Okay. Especially at his rating in Madden. What? He was just a 66 overall. Yeah, man's was... I ain't gonna lie, that is very bad because even me, me personally, I did a test with EA Sports, Madden, and Nike and tested my Madden score by doing a combine challenge and I got a rating of a 72, bro. See, look, bro. Take a look, bro. Look at my... Watch him up. Look at my Madden rating. Look, I literally got a 72 overall. This is a fact, bro. This is literally with EA, Madden, Nike, bro. This is no cap. Watch this. 72 overall. So if I got a 72 and I'm who I am, <laughs> the fact that they gave him a 66, bro, he, he's probably just trash, bro. Shoot. Hey, maybe, you know, maybe... I'm stop joking. I don't know. Before he pulled off his craziest play, oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my goodness bro oh yeah they definitely boosted his rating they definitely boosted it to like a 74 they definitely boosted it like thinking about the entire time is what he was gonna do next after that play he instantly whipped out his twitter fingers and told madden to boost his rating no way hey at ea it's about that time ah uh, this is what lil dude wanted i just hopped on madden myself to see if they listened and unless my eyes don't work his overall didn't go up a single point oh wow come on <laughs> But, all right, whatever. damn, that's, that hurts. We'll do something better for the guys in our top 10. Okay. These plays are on a whole other level. Let's see. Crazy. Show me. Show like me. The craziest catch of the season that set an unbreakable NFL record. Or the play that only what? happened because of a deadly plane attack. What? Before we get to those, at number 10, Mike Evans wrote a dude. Wait, what? Oh, my gosh. He's actually like, he was, he's like, he's like floating on him. One what the heck? And dude's was above his opponent bro what a, yo like what that was crazy. i think mike evans is one of the riding a dude for one of the best catches this season what it actually helped his team oh unlike number nine that's the worst interception <laughs> i've ever seen let me see bro no way that dude no way that's a pick <laughs> yo he literally said here you go he literally handed the ball to him bro that's crazy bro okay uh, wow what the hell was that oh Instead my gosh in the sack like my girl does man's really did all of that hey, yo but that was only one crazy play at number eight okay two crazy plays happened at the exact same time wait what when you have all these different injuries second and three boom oh my gosh he got smacked wow that's a crazy hit and interception. Wow. You really caught that? Just to get hit so Bow. hard. Oh my gosh. Or interception or fumbleception? I don't even know, man. Yeah, what is what that? Know? Guys, really quick, two things. Is that a fumble or interception? Let me know in the comments also, bro. Like I was saying about Mike Evans, I get to finish. Mike Evans, to me, is top five wide receivers in the NFL. I think he's very underrated. Go in the comments. Let me know who your top five. No order specifically, but Tyreek Hill, Justin Jefferson, Mike Evans, Eli Mack, and Eli Mack. Is that number seven is even crazier? Because this guy's craziest play involved his ball and only a few inches. Hey, yo. That sounded kind of crazy. 62 yarder? Bro, I mean, bro. All right. Until you know what was crazy. Bro. The fact that dude really hit the longest field goal of the season from 62 yards away, but then he was only a few inches away from missing. See, babe, a few inches never stopped this guy. <laughs> Anyways, at number six, oh, Keenan Allen's play wasn't only crazy. Nah. It got him compared to some of the greatest legends in NFL history. Okay. Keenan was on pace for a crazy record when this happened. Let me see. Herbert floats. Okay, Keenan. Oh! <laughs> 
Yeah. Wow. Face when dude made that catch. That's crazy. The best catches this season. Wow. Wait, bro. Why? I didn't know Lil Nas X used to look like that. Is this Lil Nas X? Bro, this Lil Nas X used to look like this. I didn't know Lil Nas X that had no hair before. That's crazy, bro. He looked different. That catch. That's not only one of the best catches this season. Wow. But damn near of all time. Also, that play put Keenan's receiving yards over 10,000 in his Ooh. career, which got him into an exclusive club with some of the best receivers okay. ever. Okay. Really with the legends, man. Yes, sir. But obviously, just like up top, nobody's ever breaking Jerry Rice's record. Yeah. Speaking of records, at number five, a player made so many crazy plays this season. He said that, happened? that Deron Bland was chasing had been held for decades by a legend named Eric Allen. Wait, who's what's not only known as the king of pick sixes? Okay. According to the record books, he had the most in a single season with four. But as you can see by the okay. grainy footage, that was years ago. Yeah. This season, what Bland was doing had people thinking he was about to make history. Okay. Not one. Bro, stop showing my favorite team. Stop showing my favorite team getting. Bro, oh my God, bro. Uh. Two. Second down, a lot of time. Jones just can't find. Oh wow, that was a great pick. That was a great pick. He bit on that perfectly, bro. W but pick. Three pick sixes within the first couple weeks had everybody keeping their eyes. Wait, the first couple weeks? The first two weeks of the season? Wait, how is it the first couple of weeks? Because couple means two, and those are three different games. I'm lost, bro. Somebody help me out in the comments, please. Oh my gosh, so he's at him. That point, the man was intercepting everything. He's him. And I assumed, just to make sure he didn't get the record, nobody else would even risk throwing towards it. Yeah. Until the very next. That's what game. I would do if I was a quarterback. Second and ten. Oh! This is history. If Brand can take it the distance, Wait. this will be the record. Go! Oh! Yo, I got goosebumps. I love history. Record, he set his own that'll never be broken. Wow. The man's goaded for that. And those quarterbacks' hearts. Not their faces. Oh my gosh. Before, when a player turned the NFL into the UFC. <laughs> How did he do that? Show me. Oh, well, that was an accident, though. He didn't do it on purpose, man. It was man. supposed to just be a hurdle, and it turned into a crazy flying knee to the dome. <laughs> it was an accident, bro. Joe Rogan was somewhere watching it like. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, I love, wait, real quick, like, I, off the video, I love Joe Rogan's voice when he's doing UFC. This is him when, when they get a knockout. Oh, fish is ground and pound. Fish is ground and pound. He's done it again. It is all over. And then also, I love the WWE back in the day when I was a kid. They'll be like, oh my gosh, Jerry, Jerry Lawler, that is insane. Oh my gosh, The Undertaker, what a crazy kick. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh my God. But what am I talking about? I'm literally a grown man pushing 30. What is wrong with me, bro? I'm sorry, guys. Let's get back into the video. You can see by the player who became a victim, that man was out cold. But wow. something even colder was number three. Okay. Tyree Kill's craziest play gave his opponents free points. What the so hell? They scored 100? He used to be on the Chiefs. So when this play happened, things got a little suspicious. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. No way. Dude, a lateral for a touchdown is crazy. Gosh. Oh my oh with the Broncos down no way with a touchdown and only enough time for one play left. Okay. Something absolutely crazy had to happen. No way. Wilson looking for a miracle. Oh my gosh. It's, oh, it's literally no time on the clock. Oh, oh my gosh, that's actually crazy. Tip by more dudes than a hot girl at Hooters. Okay, buddy. Now that, that that was crazy, bro. What a catch. They couldn't get too hyped because they still needed a two-point conversion to keep their chances alive. Okay. Did they get it? Did they get it? Of course they did. Of course they did. Oh no. Ah man. And they choked. That was Damn, heartbreaking. That sucks. But it was nowhere near as emotional. Oh man, as yeah, this was crazy. Play of the season. Oh man, this September was crazy, 11, bro. September 11, 2023, was the day of that emotional play. Everybody <sighs> was already in their feelings so because sad, the game bro. was taking place in New York. Yep. Where years earlier on hey, that exact. Really quick, moment of silence. Yo, Nate, do not even cut this part, bro. We're gonna sit here for an actual moment of silence. I want everybody to close your eyes, bow your head, never forget 9/11. I was born in New York, so this hits dearly to home. Moment of silence, real quick.
Rest in peace to all the fallen people, man. All right, let's get back into it. The city was hit with deadly attacks, but this ain't history class, and today was supposed to be different. Fans were anticipating Aaron Rodgers' debut with their team. Yep. Everybody knew the moment. Ah, was that's special. so sad, bro. Even ran under the I got field goosebumps while representing right now. our country with the flag, which yeah. had the whole stadium hype. Until just a few minutes into the game, on just Rodgers' fourth play with his new team, this happened. Oh my gosh, yeah, bro. Ah, so sad, bro. The former first round pick of the Bears, and now Rodgers sits down. No, he's he's down. He's down. Oh my gosh. Eli Manning, bro. I'm going to keep saying this in every video because it literally broke my heart. I seen him at the Super Bowl, bro, like a few weeks ago, bro, and I asked him for a picture and they told me no, bro. That's that just like, I'm the biggest Giants fan, biggest Eli Manning fan. And there's nothing against him. I'm not saying it's like bash him. I understand he was busy, he had a lot going on, but it just, as a fan, bro, that hurts my heart, bro. I just hope one day I can meet Eli Manning, bro. Now, after seeing Rodgers leave without being able to walk, then not returning to the game had everyone stunned. But despite all the focus being on if Rodgers' injury would keep him out the rest of the night, end his season, or even kill the rest of his career, the Jets had to put all their emotions aside to try and win. That's crazy game. that they, and man, that they lost him like that, bro. Close, eventually was tied up in overtime where one play finally gave Jets fans something to be happy about. Okay. Not only gave the stadium something to cheer about, and it wasn't even only dedicated to Rodgers going down. That play gave the entire city a New York hope. So not a single play this season in my eyes could have had an impact like that That's one. That's a fact. So true. Field Flex, I love you, bro. I love how you've been like integrating, like at the end of the videos, putting something real, something serious. You know what I'm saying? And ending off the video with that, man. WWW, this is my friend's account that I'm on because I'm at his house. Well, we're in an Airbnb in Texas, so I'm subscribed to you on his account as well. You know, I like the video. You know, I support you all the way. Field Flex, keep grinding, keep going, my boy. Hey, man, let's go ahead and do a health check on the channel real quick, see how we looking. All right, man, Eli Macarez, we just hit 27K. Let's get it, man. We had 27,000 subscribers. We were on the road to 30K. It's crazy. This channel's growing crazy rapidly fast. But uh, yeah, bro, everything's looking solid. Views looking good. Now, you got to think about about it to have 27,000 subscribers and to be getting these kind of views like what bro that's like bro this is crazy this is like it's like kind of the same views as my main channel bro my main channel has 800,000 subscribers it's pretty insane bro but uh yeah man looking solid looking good bro it's a blessing you know what I'm saying again man rest in peace all the fallen soldiers 9-11 never forget love you guys so much see you guys in the next reaction man it's your boy Eli Mac make sure you always put God first gang gang